Hey you guys, so I am in my guest bedroom. This is where I house, I would say 90% of my hair products, the overflow I should say. Um, anything that I use often to moisturize my hair, um, to moisturize my son's hair is in our bathrooms. So disclaimer, if you are looking for ideas on how to organize your hair products, this is not the video for you baby. I have my products just um, sorted by maker, you know, swaths is the swath, cream of nature is with cream of nature. But as you can see here, this is a cluster of foolery. So I'm going to go through here. In my honest opinion, I don't think I have a lot of products. Y'all, I have seen videos of women who literally have an entire five shelf bookcase bigger than this full of hair products. We're talking about a hundred products. I have maybe 40 to 50 here enough for myself and my child this is for our entire family but mostly for me um this is enough so i'm gonna go through here skim through a little bit we're gonna start from the bottom over here in the corner we have the maui moisture um leave in here at the bottom we have tgin twist and define cream we have texture id that is sold exclusively at sally's beauty i have the deep conditioner up there in a the styler one of my subbies told me about these products um, and so I immediately <laughs> went to my local Sally's and they went buy one get one 50% off so yeah we have um, and here is a DIY shea butter cream right there next up is Jane Carter we have the curls to go line we also have the moisture nourishing shampoo this is a great shampoo by the way um, we have Jane Carter's uh, quench curl hydrator here at the back Next up is LK Naturals. We have her Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner, which is still Bay. Just a little bit of that in there. We have the Shea Yogurt Hair Moisturizer, which you guys, I've used it several times now. Uh, it is way too heavy. A little bit goes a long way. Um, I think this is best used as a leave-in. It's too heavy in my opinion for styling, but if it works for you, great. We have the Caribbean Coconut Milk Shampoo. Along the back here, we have the As I Am Long and Lux Grow Yogurt. Really do enjoy this product. Um, then we have the two Camille Rose leave-ins that I recently reviewed. Now, I did make a comment under that review. The next day, using this leave-in, my hair was sticky. Hell, it was damn near gummy. It was heavy. It was moisturized, but it was heavy. I would not use this on dry hair ever again. And quite frankly, if I wasn't lazy, I would go ahead and wash my hair out because it just feels so heavy. And you guys know I have a lot of hair. So, yeah. Um, we have the um, Herbal Tea Seal and Soft. And then we have Meal. We have the Leave-In. The Deep Conditioning, which is coming up here in a couple more weeks. And the Twist and Souffle. So far, these have been my favorite styling products of the new um, products I've been reviewing. We have the Talia Wajid Detangler, which is okay as a detangler, but it's, I would give it a nine for leave-in. This stuff is really good as a leave-in. I purchased this for my fries. We have Aunt Jack's, Jackie's Purify Me Moisturizer Curl Wash. I use this for my husband mostly. I tend to add a couple of other um, products and he uses this as his co-wash. Alright, so second shelf we have Cantu's Leave-In Conditioner Repair Cream. I have stopped purchasing this um, as a leave-in because they have changed something about the formula. I've noticed and I've been noticing little changes for a year now um, with them. I used to be able to around two year two and three for me. I used to be able to do, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. Oh, yes, the infamous. <laughs> I used to be able to do Cantu and Echo Sala Gel. And I'm talking about, those of you who don't know, I big chop. I shaved my head. So for the first year or two, all I wore were wash and goes. This was it for me. Between this and this, and or the Echo Styler with the Curl Enhancing Smoothie by Shea Marster, who also changed it. And I could tell it changed because it started to beat up or I started to get residue in flakes. Um, yeah, so whatever. This is not the Cantu. This is actually another leave-in deep conditioner. Um, next up, we have Suave. If you don't know by now, I love me some Suave. Uh, 
this is pretty good. I have a review on this. It is the um, avocado and olive oil smoothing leave-in conditioner. And then for me, um, the almond and shea butter conditioner is Bay. This is what I use. However, a couple of weeks ago, my local fries had tons of shampoos and conditioners on clearance. Look at that. Oh yeah, I cleaned them out. I left like two of them, but um, I bought about 10 of these. I'm not even kidding. Not even that, probably like eight. <laughs> At the back here, we have Nunat. Nunat sent me a couple of products. Um, it's been about two years, actually. Not a big fan of their styling products. Now, their deep conditioners, depending on which ones you get, their deep conditioners are, are really good. Um, we have Twisted Sister. We have their 30 second curl spray and then we have a blow drying cream. The blow drying cream eh, is okay. Now this right here is great. I used this on JV's hair. They also had a coconut leave-in spray that I haven't been able to find that was also good in my opinion. So I'm going to drag this back over here. Next up we have the main choice and you guys saw me review um, all of these products here and I'm not going to go over them all of them because you guys saw me you know, review it. Then I have my styling gels here at the back. I literally have, these gels have been here for almost a year because I don't use gel on my hair a lot. I don't, I don't lay down my edges. Girl, please. I don't do that. Um, I use gel mostly on JB's hair and either gel works from him. What is this back here? I think this is like proactive. No, what is that? What is that? I don't know what that is. Protein style. I don't know what, what this clear gel is. Ampro. I'm sorry. Ampro Pro Style. Alright, so the top shelf, we have a bunch of random stuff over here. Styling products. Um, this right here is the bomb.com. I've had this for a while. This is what I use to finish off when it comes to blow drying my hair or straightening my hair. Let me get in the light, y'all. This is the Pro Claim Glossing Polish, and I know that's not zooming in. Um, I've had this same little bitty container for years because I don't blow out my hair that much and I don't straighten my hair at all. Um, I usually have someone else to do that. Anyway, um, what is this? Oh, hairspray. I needed this for my best friend in wedding. Um, then I have a little thing of hairspray. Again, I don't use a lot, so I just have a sample of it. Cream of nature. I should put that over here. Anyway, um, Apogee Carrington and Green Tea Reconstructor. This was bait for me when I was relaxed and transitioning, transitioning, excuse me. I've gone back to using this and it's just a little bit left. Um, then of course I have some more swab, some VO5 here in the back, that rest of that Aussie, which wasn't bad. Uh, hmm. I don't know what to say about design essentials. It, it's been such a more misses and hits that I am not uh I, I I'm not inclined. Is that even does that even make sense? I don't have any desire to pro to purchase any more products from Design Essentials. I think these were I think this was sent to me actually. Um yeah this was this was sent to me by um I believe Curly Nikki. Um those of you who don't know they used to have and I think some of you guys know it's, was it Curly Nikki? Y'all, I'm a little spaced out, but I used to be part of a reviewer program that they had, and they stopped doing that. <laughs> they stopped doing that, and that's where I got a lot, a lot of my products from, too. Now, I still get companies that contact me individually. I recently, I think I told you guys I had Hollywood Beauty to reach out to me. They are the ones that make the cholesterols. I would say maybe every other month, but mostly I was getting my products through the reviewer program, which they no longer do. Um, so anyway, moving on. O or S, have y'all noticed something different with them? They have a new packaging which includes sweet orange oil. I haven't noticed a big difference, just to be honest, but I still use this. Now, I use this primarily in my pre-poo. Um, yeah, so anyway. We have the Argan Oil Cream of Nature. This sulfate-free shampoo is everything to me, and I was using this exclusively um, last winter. I also love their, um, excuse, excuse me, I also love their mousse. Uh, <laughs> the perfect edge is okay. I don't even know why I bought this. I honestly think it was on clearance. Yeah. I also enjoyed this oil here. A lot of body. Let me tell you something. I have absolutely loved between that style milk and I understand they have a couple of other products which they need to do a better job of marketing their products because they're actually are not that bad. This Lotta Body Wrap Me Foamy Mousse, um, I believe 
D, one of my friends gave this to me. Yes, um, D of Doobie and Glam Rock. She gave this to me um, a couple of years ago. But I was also sent this but prior to that with along, along with the styling milk. And I do have a review on those products. Um, absolutely love it. I just wish that I could find it more um, in the stores out here, but I can't. And then we have my shampoos and stuff, just in case I run out. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so sorry. Just in case something happens, you know, and I run out and I have some products here. So that is it, you guys. Yes, this is quite a bit of products. And the reason why this thing looks beat up is because I got this from the Goodwill. Look, I'm not trying to pay any money or anything. I purchased this from, from the Goodwill a couple of years ago. It was like $5, um, all beat up, but hey, it serves its purpose. Um, I will be purchasing some Aunt Jackie products here in a couple of more weeks, actually in a couple more days. <laughs> And that, I would say that would be it. After the Aunt Jackie's, I was kinda, I'm, I am the 22nd century woman's deep conditioner. Um, and another, I, I think it's an, another small business. I think her name is Carmilla Marie. Carmilla, I think it's Carmilla Marie. Don't quote me on that. I saw a couple of her products and I want to get some of those. And after that, I'm done. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be good. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.